Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here and I'm very late with my video um, but I thought I'm just having a herbal tea I thought I'd pop in and do something with you guys just to say hello otherwise you think where's she gone and um, so I was watching um, Rose Hill Paper Cottage I think it was yesterday or the day before she did a video um, one of her um, Ruby and Pearl design team projects and um, she'd done this really cute, she called it a tag holder, um, but it was very clever because it was a um, double-sided, I'll link her video anyway, um, it was a double-sided printed page that she folded in a certain way um, to make the tag holder and I'm sure, I know some of you follow her and you would have seen the video so it might be boring for you to watch me do it. But because I'm so late today and I was really wanting to do this, um, I'm just going to do that video, do that project, see what happens. So I'm just going to prepare a couple of pages. These are just double-sided pages printed, um, one with a letter like script and the other one with plain. And let's see what else is here. I've got quite a few um, printed out. Um, oh, I like that one. Maybe we'll do that one. Let's do that one. And that, no, that's not. Okay, so we'll put those over there. And, um, and I might tear that one with this ruler. Oh, dearie me. So how is everyone today? I hope you're well. Uh, we are just here, busy and chugging along. It's quite warm. It's about 23, 24 degrees. So it's not cold yet. I do have, I do have long sleeves on, um, but it's very light. It's a very light top. Now we've got an issue there. So I'm going to tear it on this side so that I can get the the torn bit there. Doesn't matter if I lose a bit of my letter on that side and I need to tear again up there. Of course, the, well, I was about to say the tearing is a bit straighter than the edge of that piece of paper, but it's not really because I look how messy I am. I'm just gonna hand tear these bits off. And then here, I'm just going to poke a hole in, I'm thinking, it's just coming to me now. And I'll have to cut it. We'll have that hole, thank you. And I'm going to, I thought, my thoughts were I'm going to fold that over and sort of glue it down. And have fun with that sort of thing. Okay. So is anyone watching that horrible um, series about um, Jeffrey Dahmer. I can't watch it. And uh, Steffi's watching it, of course, because he likes all that. You know, he's he's the, I've told you before, he's the most calm, gentle person, but he, he's fascinated by that sort of stuff. And I can hear it. I come in here and do stuff because I don't want to watch it. Um, and I can hear, looks like a mouth. Um, I can hear you know some of the things going on and I find it very disturbing just even hearing it and and even worse that you know it was true I remember when he was on the loose or when they caught him I think I'm probably remember when I when they caught him I could look through there anyway um not for me. My sister's watching it. She's, she's like my husband. They have a good old time when they're together. Now, what I'm going to do, which I never do, is 
I'm just going to, sorry if you don't like the sound, I'm just going to vaguely, I mean, I'm, I'm very whizzy, I don't, I don't sort of like, I'm not going to do too much, I'm a bit too fussy, I'm just going to scrape along the edge, turn the volume down if you don't like it, not that I want to tell you what to do, but yes, turn the volume down, I'm just going to rough up the edges a little bit, I don't know that it's doing anything, but I'm giving it a go. I might even go in here and with my big whoppers and do, no, get my nails and go and do a little bit. Take that off. A lot of flapping about here. Okay, that's that one. It's a bit regular, isn't it? Let's just wrap it up a bit. That's my issue. It's a bit regular. Probably would have better off to tear it. Anyway, and then this one, we'll just go with the nail. A bit with the scissors. We don't want to be precious. We'll get some rip. Look at that. There we go. That's working. I'm not inking because I'm not an inker. I don't enjoy that. But I will do this. This is about as far as I go. Now I've got to remember what um, Heather did from Rose Hill something in the papers. Okay. Oh, I like that. That's all right. The, the hole's a bit funny there. Okay, so basically she had... My, I folded mine differently. I couldn't quite... I did do a sample one folding just to practice the folding just to while I was watching the video I folded it so that I knew what was going on like that and then like that I'll just fold that one in there like that okay I've got to remember I can't even remember so there we go so we've done a little fold here and a fold there and a fold there like that. I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to do a fold here. Fold over there. I just couldn't get the folding like Heather did. I mean, just a bit of a ding dong. And that one will go there. Okay. Then what happened? <laughs> then, so you could have that out. So we'll have this one out. And then she folded a little bit up, like so. You can just keep on roughing it up a little bit if you want it to look a little bit more messy. So that one's going to fold up like that. And what's this one going to do? That one can stay in. That's going to be the difference. So that one I'll fold up here like this. I'm going to leave that one tucked in. I've got our hole there. I'm sure I'm mad about the hole. Stick a piece of paper over it. Oh, I quite like that actually. I'm going to stick a piece of paper over my hole. I didn't like it. Because I did it too regular. I should have torn. Oh, look at that. I left the lid off the glue yesterday. I wonder if that's still working. Oh, yes. There it is squeezing out. Okay, well, squeeze away. So this is meant to be like a it's a it's a tag holder from a sheet of paper but um so something that you can clip on on the on the front of a journal or that you can um i put glue everywhere so i'll have to have something inside as well or i could just wipe that off i didn't put much glue i think i like that that's what i like um so um yeah it's a tag holder so you could put it in a pocket or you could just, you know, paper clip it onto a page um, or, yeah, or put it on, tied on the outside of a journal. So we've got two here. And then she made um, some tags. I might, I'm just trying to think, do I want to put something there? I don't know. That could be very nice. That would. Oh, I think I like that up there. I'm going to put that there. 
Okay, my, where's my glue? Yeah. It's actually very cool when you see it at the end. It's very cool. Um, very clever idea, Heather. And uh, then I'm going to make some sort of some some like some 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 tags. I'm going to grab my scraps here. Let's see what we have. I can even join things together. Here we go. I've got a piece of this. So this is going to be perfect for one tag. There's another one. We can make a little one. Another piece of paper. It is the land of the paper. Let's see. Um, we might need that, you never know. Okay, let's start with those. Oh, here, this is good. I was going to, this is that lovely old piece of paper that I just folded so maybe we can put that somewhere here's some book page just grabbing a few things so I can make my little taggy tags to go in it's a simple idea but very clever okay let's see how we go I'll put the stamps over there I don't need those right now okay so I've got my two holders and you're thinking, how are they going to work? Well, first of all, what Heather did. So we'll, we'll go ahead with that just for a minute. She had some snazzy paper clips. Mine are not snazzy. These are little Tim Holtz ones. And she just had a little clip at the bottom of them. And that held them in place. So we'll do that for now, but we might change our mind. And you could decorate the paper clips. Have ding dingle dangles off them. I don't, I'm not a dingle dangle person, so I don't dingle dangle things down my clips, if that makes sense. Right, so here I'm going to make this into a tag, and it's going to fit. It's actually going to fit in here. I'm going to slide it. That's where it's going to sit. It could actually even sit in there. But I'm going to have it sit in there, and I'm going to just tear it down a little bit because I don't want it to be quite so wide. And you want to be able to see a little bit of the background. Okay, and so I'm going to find, I need to put some planar paper on the back. So I'm going to tear down this one. This is just one of my ephemera bits. In, I think it's in one of the digitals. And yes, and I can tear it very badly. I'm not trying to be precious or anything like that. And um, I'm going to glue that there so that's the writing side but you must watch her um, Heather's video because she has totally different style to me and um, and she it was lovely what she made if you haven't already watched it because as I said lots of you I think do follow her I think I might decorate it just a little bit finish it off with that considering it's just one piece of old leftover book page just give it a bit more reinforcement we have to decorate the front but I think I'll just leave that for the moment and we're just going to prepare another one for here so this one can be a smaller one and we need to put something plain on the reverse side so that oh that's perfect isn't that lucky let's just use this and then go round with the wet glue so I don't have to get another glue book page I will tell you, it's nearly six o'clock, and that's normally the time when I post my video. I'm very late. Late, late, late. But as I said, I didn't want to miss a day. I mean, I do miss a day towards the end of the week. I take a day that, well, not not usually by my choice, just usually it just happens that way. Um, but during the week, I try to get my videos done. I'm going to cut myself. Look, I didn't, there's the, where I did the snip yesterday. It didn't actually break my skin. So, um, you know, I think I've done pretty well all these um, few years that I've been on um, YouTube. I haven't um, really hurt myself with the scissors yet. I shouldn't say that. There's always time, isn't there? I shouldn't talk about it. 
Okay, so we're going to make two tags. I'm going to have a sip of tea. And I'm going to decorate these tags. And I have no idea with what, so I'm going to go into the scrap, the scrapperoos, and I'm going to put that there. Okay, and then here, oh, that's a good thing to keep. This is just the, I think it's the bottom of one of Steph's tags. I've been using them to, um, look, I've been ripping them up and using them. So we'll keep that aside. We might use that. I'm back in the scrap box thinking I might find something. I haven't even decided what, you know, what will the... What will the style, will it be botanical? What will it be? The What will they be, the tags? They'll just be whatever they, they turn out to be, I guess. Mm, that, you know, that scrap box is not, not doing so well. Um, oh, I know, I'm gonna start with a book page. Just here, I like the, I love the font on this. So this paper to me is much nicer than that paper. But I always take off those bits. I don't want the big margins. So I think I'm gonna put that there. Use those at the top. Hmm, could attach there. Okay, so I was just, I've just gone in my mind, I've gone off in a tangent, um, thinking, I was thinking I keep, sometimes I get a flash of someone in my mind who I no longer see the see the videos or um they kind of disappeared and so i then i'd be nice to sit there and think where have they gone i hope nothing bad okay let's see what's here over there they're all too big I have lots of things in this um, just random things that I as I've told you before I need to put away of these things out. I don't feel like doing fussy cutting, so I don't want anything that I have to, to do too much fussy cutting. what happens. 
Oh, I was going to put maybe put this piece there. Yes. I'll just show you the ones that I folded while I was watching Heather's uh, video. I'm going to put that one there, I think. Oh, if I wanted to punch a hole, I can't because Steffi's got my thing out there, my crocodile. So it'll have to stay with that. Oh, I can staple. We'll staple. That's what I'll do. Maybe they do. They need to be matching. Maybe we could have that one on there. They're not matching, but they're similar bright, not lovely, bright, happy colours. Very, very vague fussy cut here. Sort of more going around in a smooth oval sort of style. And I'm wondering if I would like a bit, oh, I don't mind that font there. Actually, I get there. I'm going to put that one there. It's all very sticky here. Oh, so did I catch it? Yes. Oh, I'm, so, I'm feeling very tired, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not very chatty because I'm feeling a bit sleepy, which is not good. Oh yes, I like that. Okay, so that's going to go on there. Oh, I like that. Definitely love the font of that. Okay, and then I think I want to staple something. On um, the top. Oh, I haven't looked in here for a while. These are just a few... Um, isn't that cute? I've got to finish that. Oh, that's a nice piece of fabric. I'm trying to rip it. Oh, it doesn't want to. There we go. Let's see how we go with that. It's not too thick. It's a linen, and I just did a bit of painting on it. And I'm just wondering, I could... Oh, I like that. I think I'll put that on there. Where's my stapler gone? We have the more blue. Or I could staple it on like that. Or oh, I like that more. Okay. Or do I like it that way? No, the other way. Make a decision, girly. I don't know if my stapler will go through, but we will try. And it did. Just not very well. It will do. And then here, we do the same thing. It's not really like a high quality stapler that will go through anything. 
but if it holds it, no, <laughs> didn't even hold it, didn't even go in. We'll try one more time. That's better. Okay, good. That's kind of holding. I might put a little bit of glue under there to hold that so it doesn't come off. And I will do the same on this one, just to be sure. Okay. I don't feel like they need anything else. Oh, where's my things? Okay, here they are. So this one's going to slide in that pocket there, which is really not a pocket. It's just where the fold is. I do like that. And this one's going to slide in this one. It's slightly taller. It can go in there or it can go in there. You could have two things. So that's going to go in there. And I could also put a little something here. I did print out because I've been using them a lot. So I started to run out. Where are my, I want my red ones. My, my labels. Oh dear, where did I put them? I don't think I brought them in. Okay, I've got the, I printed out these ones as well. I wanted the black and red ones, but I think I might've left them on the computer. So I'm going to grab, I think I'm gonna grab a green one, this one here. Just something different. I just thought it was very cool. And it's fun when you can create things by, you know, from folded things. Okay, so that's going to go there. And here I think I'm going to put just maybe a little, oh, look at that something like that there I'll just take this little bit off I think I'll glue that oh yes I like that just a little scrap this is why we don't throw scraps away we keep them because we can stick them places so that's going to go there and now we need a big one to go in the back um, so I might just do something. Well, I've got some tags here. Let's just have a look. I didn't want to keep you here all day doing this. Um, that's Wendy's thing. I made this tag the other day. That's a big, that's too big. These are all too big. Like that one would, I, see, I love those together. I just made that from, where are they? Oh, over there. Just let me grab it. I don't have to go far. It's from this, um, it's, a, it's a touring club book. Just has, yeah, like, you know, towns and things like that. It's all in black and white. And I made, it was one of the image pages and I just made it into a big tag and put some paper on the back. I think I, I don't have, as I said, I don't have my punch in here, so I won't go and get that. But that can just slide in there. And there we go, I like that. Um, and then we need one for here. And I did make some more. Here's another one I made with that. And that had a colourful mat behind it. Actually, maybe this one. It's a bit tall for this. But just to give you the idea, I don't, um, I've got to go and start preparing dinner. So I can't, I won't stay here and make more longer. Oh, that's good in that one. So that will go in that one. And then, oh no. Well, they're the same height. So why did I think that I couldn't? Okay, that one's going back in there because I liked it there more. But you see, at the back with the folds, you've got another sort of tucky area that you could tuck something else in. So here you've got this. That's a bit big, that tag, for in there. But just say, just let's pretend. So then, then you could have a little something in here. So I've got some little ones that I've made in the past. So that could slide in there. You see how you can load up all the folds? And then here... Um, what Heather suggested was you could sort of put a little fold in there as well. And then that's a pocket as well. So you could slide, I've got some incomplete things here, something like that in there. So you can see how this one piece of paper can hold and you can fold down there. 
You can do all kinds of things. One piece of paper can hold all these tags. So here we've got, we've also got this little pocket in here so we could have something small. Good thing I have a few little things made. Something small like that. Oh no, not that one. Um, maybe this one. Could go in there. And then this one has, again, another fold at the back so you could have something big, but I don't have it. Um, and then that doesn't, it doesn't have this fold because I left it, it's inside. So you would have another tag in there. So let me just grab a pretend one. These are, yeah, as I said, they're things I'm working on. So that could slide in there and you've got another tag in there. And then I thought another option rather than the paper clip is you could do, um, you know, the, see, I'll keep that. Even though they're black and white, I feel like you can pretty them up. Um, just a piece of plain paper. And I liked these books because they've got those black and white images, but also I like the, the shape of them. The, you know the, the format of the pages because I felt like they lent themselves to converting them into um, tags and journal cards and things but you could also just take this and that, that's going to be too wide we don't want it to be too wide so I might I want to fold it though so I'll tear it there I'll keep the narrow bit I think fold it and you could actually just have a cute little belly band holding it shut. A cute little wrap around it to hold it there, I would put it. So then you would just close that with a piece of washi tape. I thought it was a super fun project. And, you know, lots of experimenting, different folding it different ways, you're going to get a different sort of feel like this I can as we've seen before we can just slide it in there if you want to and that will hold this one's a bit long I should, probably should trim it but I'm not going to do that I'm going to use the, the tape I might tear that bit off so I'm going to put a little belly band and you could actually glue that to your page which I've done before and and then it will hold it. Have it up there, down there. You could slide it up there, but I wanted to hold the, this sort of pocket bit. And then you could do the same on this one, or you can have, you know, you can keep your little um, clip. You could put it on the side, even just to hold it all shut. And then, I can't get it back on. And then what you do is you pull everything out. This is what I really thought was fun. So it's got lots of possibilities for pot tucks and things. Pull it out and you've got a, oh, I love that little repair there. <laughs> um, you know, you pull it out, you've got a journaling spot. You've got a journaling spot, you've got a little, I love that. That's so much fun. Thank you so much, Heather, um, from Rose Hill Paper Cottage, I think it is. Um, really thought it was a fabulous idea and I was, I was just bursting 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 you could even wrap it around that way as heather has heather said and have another tuck there but i had mine tucked in um so like that and then we put all our little things in the different pockets so we'll have the tall one i probably should put the tall one at the very back we'll have that one at the front put the very tall one at the back you could have one in the middle you can, i mean you can have endless there's endless pockets here endless you could tuck something in there as well a lot of fun very cool you can have this one off to the side like heather did that down there and you've got this um tag holder with a piece of paper that then becomes a writing paper here we put a belly band like a a belt on it what do you call it a band um got a pocket here pocket there you could have a pocket behind that you've got a pocket here i absolutely love it it's fantastic there and then you open it out and you've got a lovely journaling spot and of course if you were to travel or something like that then you could um you could put you know you could journal and put your um how fun i'm just having that thought right now 
you could journal and put your um, you know travel bits in there. Put that there. And we made this one with the textile on the top, and then we've got this little tuck in the front just to remind you, and then we've got our little um, belty thing here. And it just slides back on. Now I'll just quickly show you the ones um, that I folded while I was watching Heather's video. I folded this one and there she did a little foldy thing there. Um, so let's carefully, so it looks like that, you flip it over, it's got the fold on the outside. Whereas this one I put it on the inside there, it's on the outside and it's folded back. And then it's just, just one, two, three, four folds one two three folds sorry and then fold it up like so isn't that cool and then I did this one this was the first one and I and um, where I left it folded in and these are just my old letters that I have printed on um, I wanted on this one to f see if I could follow those things I have to experiment that see if I can follow the original folds um, in that that paper and create something with it but that's that one. I haven't decorated them. I was I just had them there in the glue box just to look at. But I thought they're a lot of fun, and um, maybe some of you don't follow um, Heather, so um, I thought I'd share her idea, even though it was just a few days ago. I normally wait a bit longer because who wants to see the same thing again? Um, but anyway, I've done a different look to what Heather did. She did some had some embossed papers and things like that. So I'll link her video below. No, I'll link her channel. It's the latest video, I think, that she did. Um, I'll link her channel and you can go on and check out some of her other videos. Um, and, um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Love it, love it. I'll go make some more. Remember that. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.